teaching job and we just got back. Yes, it's... Oh boy, 8.58. But, uh, we, uh... <laughs> we were teachers. Um, uh, we, we, we started by asking them, you know, raise your hands if you're a student. Because for some reason, all of the parents stayed. And, like, the janitor stayed. And maybe a TA and a teacher and someone else stayed. So we had 10 students and like 25 adults. I don't know who they all were, but we had a full classroom full of people. And the only ones I was working on impressing were the kids. Because if they don't like you, then you're going to have a tough time teaching them. So we started off with, hello, my name is. And that went over pretty well. Then we did the alphabet. And we went from the alphabet to, to naming objects in the room, from naming objects to spelling, from spelling to whole sentences. And Jesus, they knew it all. I have, so I have no idea what we're going to teach them. But, uh, let me see. Their names are... Um, List off the ones that we had to name, too. We had to name a few. We named Zach, Matt, and Sarah. <laughs> Zach, Matt, and Sarah. <laughs> I don't know why that just I caught me. I don't know why those names popped into my head when I named them, but geez. And then self-named students, we have Linda, Betty, Sophie, Jerry, Harry, Mark, and Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> now, Rainbow makes me happy, but the problem is that while they're all almost at the same levels of being either really smart or kind of understanding it, there's Sarah, who, when we named her, we didn't know she was going to be so far behind, but she is. I would ask her a question, and she'd be like, Oh, she's us! Yeah, oh, see, she's like the me of the Chinese classroom. Um, what else did we do? We gave them notebooks. Oh, uh, oh, which, that's right, we played a great. really long, epic game in which they continued to tie. Yeah, it was like, boys, girls, boys, girls, 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 boys! Oh, and then they were, they were tied, and so I was like, okay, well... Lightning round! Lightning round! And they both got it. It was, it was, boys have to... Teacher. Teacher. Girls have to spell notebook, and they got it. And I was like, crap. Well, it looks like everyone wins, and like off the top of my head, I was like, let's give them the notebooks. So then, then I was like, everyone wins, so you all get a notebook. And they were like, yay, notebooks, we get presents. But the thing is, and I want you to zoom in on this, no one picked this one? Oh, I'm gonna keep it. Huh. Which one? It's mine. Wow! Oh. It's, it's oh this little notebook. I zoomed. I'm, I, I'm zoomed in much closer now. <laughs> it's got maybe 25, 30 pages. Tiny. And they open it and they see it says practice writing and speaking the alphabet. And all down the side, I have a letter written and then I have it with dots kind of like fading out. And I tried to write as many as possible, but I only made it to the letter I. Some don't even have dots all the way through. But this took me, like, hours to do. I was like, oh, stupid alphabet, I'm never going to want to see it again. Uh, so the thing is, the kids were like, yay, we got notebooks, and they're all, like, whispering to each other. And then finally Rich goes, uh-oh, I think they figured out. And the parents have this look like, oh, you know, they gave our kids stuff, that's cool. And then two boys, um, uh, Mark and Jerry, they open theirs, and they go together in unison. Their faces go, oh, it's war, yeah, which means, ah, oh, homework. Oh all the teachers laugh, and or all the parents laugh. laugh. The students were like, homework, and the parents were like, yeah, anyway, I don't know what else to say. Oh, it was awesome. Teachers, oh my god. Home teacher. Washer, washer. Washer, washer.